Good afternoon. Come on, internet, do your thing. How are we all today? I hope you're all having a wonderful afternoon wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to my live Facebook little mini classes, little info sessions, little little waffling session as we like to call it. Um, let's pop that behind me. I hope you're all doing great. Hello again, Naomi. Let's pop that aside. Okay, so welcome back to um, Saturday, 16th of, what are we up to? July. We are going to, um, as part of the, the craft show online this weekend, um, we are doing live Facebook showing you different techniques and different ideas and different bits and pieces. And today I am showing you how to use or a way of using my new Words of Wisdom, Lindy's Gang Magicals. Um, you can find a whole ton of specials online, nataliemay.com.au. You can join our Facebook group, Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. Watch um, some previous videos on YouTube and Instagram. So what I thought I'd do, this is the set of Lindy's Magicals that I designed. Uh, colours that I formulated especially for uh, for release in May. So I was super excited to release these. These are Lindy's Gang Flat Magicals, which means that they have no shimmer. So I thought today I would do a little page where we use them, uh, create another art journal page and create something nice and fun. So... Lindy's Gang Magicals. When you buy a set of Magicals like this, they come in a tube. Let me show you how to open them. I get my, well, you can get anything really. Here's a pair of scissors. Put it in the top and pop it open. Just like that. Uh, and we have got one, two, three, four, five different colors here. We have got just Be Kind and Cobalt. We have got Commit To It Teal. We have got It Is What It Is Yellow. We have got Don't Overthinker Orange and Trust The Process Red. Blue, teal, yellow, orange, red. Love that. <laughs> See what I did there? I know, clever. Um, hi Amanda. Hello Kirsteen. Oh, there's a lot of people watching. Oh. So we are going to be using the Magicals to create an art journal page. Um, now I am going to do a couple of different techniques today. What I want to do is uh, just create another page to go in my Art by Marlene journal. And I probably need to cut some of this paper down again. Um, and I want to find a page here so I can just take it out for size. I like to add my own pages in here. The pages that come in these Art by Marlene journals are perfect, as I was discussing earlier today, for creating, um, perfect for working with acrylic paint. Uh, working with water, I find that it is a, a slightly different surface, doesn't work to my liking. Uh, but So what I'm going to do is I have just got a few different samples of paper here that I'm going to have a little bit of a play with. I'm just going to, I've just got some flat card stock. I've got some Vicky Booten, uh, Vicky Booten, what's this one called? Foundations paper. Uh, this one is a marshmallow cardstock, and then I've got three different sorts of watercolour paper here. So uh, I'm going to just trim these back because I trimmed them to the wrong size. Because, you know, because I was doing all the things. So online today um, on the website, you can get 15% off of Lindy's Gang products. So... 
that is a great little saving for you guys. And you can also get 15% off of stamps. And you can also get 15% off of uh, collage papers. So for those of you who have purchased already over the last couple of days, <laughs> sorry, um, <laughs> you can add to your order by selecting no judgment at the checkout, all right? So that's pretty cool. Now, Karen has just commented saying, I'm interested to see how all the different papers react. I wasn't planning on doing that, but since I've got those little off cuts, let's have a little bit of a play. Um, different papers do work differently. So uh, it's a really, actually, what I might do, yeah, let's do that. Um, different papers do work differently. So different react differently. They Some are more porous than others. Some are soak in the water differently. What I am doing is just popping some paper towel down and I'm going to see how they all react. And I can't remember which one is which at this point, but let's just go with it. That's definitely a watercolour. And that's definitely, that's a 200 GSM watercolour paper. That's quite thin and flimsy. This is a 300 GSM watercolour paper. And then I've got here uh, the Vicky Booten paper. We've got Marshmallow. Uh, it's got a flat white cardstock by the looks. So let's do a little bit of a sprinkle and spritz sort of technique here. So the um, Lindy's Gang Magicals, what they are, they are a pigment dye-based powder that... that is a that you need to activate to get happening so as a bit of an example i'm going to be activating them with water so the the pigment means that they are full of color the dye means that they have an excellent permanency to them and the powder means that we need to activate it to get the magic to happen. So you can mix it with anything to get them to have to get you know to activate them, um, or you can so like you can mix them with water, or you can mix them with uh, hand sanitizer, or you can mix them with paint. You can do anything like that really. Totally up to you. So as you can see, I've just sprinkled a little bit on the top there, and what I'm going to do is I've just got some fancy Adelaide water, and I'm just going to mist over the top directly over the top to activate that powder. Bit of a tip when you are uh, when you're when you're doing this, don't come in on an angle because it's just going to push the powder off. What we want to do is we want to spritz straight over the top. So I'm going to do hopefully the same amount of water on everything just to show you. Now they've actually all all reacted very much very much the same. The more water you add the more they activate, the more the pigments come together and make a liquid like this. Less water you add, it becomes more of a, um, it's, it's quite, you know, the pigments separated. So this is the really thin watercolour paper and that's worked quite well. It's still quite fluid. The water's still moving around on it quite well. Um, it's looking pretty good. This is the heavyweight watercolour paper. As you can see, it doesn't need to be held up. Um, and the watercolour, the water is still sitting on top, which is what water watercolour paper is supposed to do. It's supposed to sit on top. Um, that one works really well. Uh, I think that this one is the... Vicky Booten paper and that has absorbed some of the pigment in here. Where are we? Sorry guys. It absorbs some of the pigment in here quite well. The water's still sitting on top on top quite nicely. I do like that one. This paper is a thinner paper. What was this one? I don't know what this one is now. This might have just been one I had sitting on my desk, actually. 
and I'm pretty sure that this is the marshmallow cardstock. Marshmallow cardstock is probably my go-to. So they all re react very similar. This one is soaked in a lot more, which makes me think it's the same paper that I used in the previous live Facebook. So they all react differently, um, giving a similar effect. But you can see what happens here. So to get this gorgeous teal colour, they had to mix together lots and lots and lots of different pigments. Um, the powder, I'm just trying to see if we can get it on camera here. The powder sitting here hasn't activated, right? It's still a little bit gritty. You can leave it like that, but what's going to happen is that's going to brush off when it dries, okay? But you can see that the yellow and the green, all of these little flecks is what is, is used to make up these colours. So I'm just going to pop those aside to dry because, and, and I'll revisit them later. Um, I've got a bit of an idea on what I want to do today and I've done a little, a little bit of preparation work um, in a bit of stamping and that's about it. So the Lindy's Magicals are really cool. So there's lots of other companies that do something very, very similar. You will find that these companies are trying to replicate the Lindy's formula. Um, I have found that the, I'm gonna use, I think this is the marshmallow, let's try this. Um, the Lindy's Gang Magicals, because they have been around for over 25 years, um, they were one of the very first companies to, to come up with this fantastic formula. Um, you can do so much with this product. The only thing it is designed to not do, it's not designed to go into a water spray bottle, okay? It's designed to, because it will clog up your nozzle and nobody wants a clogged nozzle. I'm just going to add some modelling paste through a stencil uh, to my background. And I'm just going to do a super simple design and then dry this off. Now, I'm. this is something a, that anybody can do. Modelling paste, of course, is a, a paste that dries with body. It means that it is going to dry with shape. So I don't want to spread it out too much on here with my, my palette knife. I want it to... Have a bit of, I want it like thick, thick peanut butter on toast or thick Nutella on toast. All right, that's that's the sort of consistency that I'm after. I want to know that it's there. So this is a all and create stencil. Um, you can use any sort of stencil for this, but I'm just taking that shape. Sorry, I just realized that it's off the page and you can't see it taking that shape off the page. And this is a heavy bodied modeling paste, which means that when it dries in a moment, it's not going to absorb my color too much. It's going to almost offer a little bit of a resist, hopefully, that's what I'm going for. So now that I've taken that off, you can see that it's got a bit of body there, okay? that little bit of texture. Um, I've got to just take the excess off my stencil onto yesterday's art journal page. Just scraping it through like that. Waste not, want not. Got another page for later. And then because I can't go and rinse this off in the sink straight away, I'm going to pop it between two baby wipes so that it doesn't dry on there and go all crusty. But you can use any sort of stencil for this, for, you know, creating a background like this. Uh, now to, oh, let's throw that on the floor too. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is going to dry all of this off. I want this to be totally dry before I can do the next bit. So... Um, all right, what else can I tell you about Lindy's? So Lindy's, like I said, you can make up a little, you know, they activate with water. So 
you can, you can it works like a watercolor you can color images in you can do all sorts of things with it you can mix them together to make new colors um, you can do that lovely sprinkle and spritz technique that I just did you, you can the you're only limited to your own imagination um, what I do like about the Lindy's magicals is that you can choose the shade and the tone of the color that you are using and you can dictate that just by the amount of powder and water that you put together so in just a moment I'm going to make some up and I'm going to color a little image that I'm going to put onto this as my focal point because I'm creating a bit of an art journal page this this texture paste the background is building a base creating a background so I'm going to put my color over the top of this in a minute and as you can see I'm also drying it from behind to make sure that it is dry all the way through my paper So this set of the Lindy's Magicals are the flat set. So they have no shimmer in them at all. And that's exactly what I wanted. You can get Lindy's with the shimmer in them, but I was after a nice primary set of, oh, that's hot. Uh, a primary set of Magicals that was going to, uh, it, you know, exactly what I needed. So I've got one of these little palettes and I have a little Nouveau spoon here, and I'm going to color, I want to, I'm gonna make up a red, a yellow, and an orange. So I'm only putting in a, a bee's whisker of color. A bee's whisker. Actually, I'll make up all the colors because I do wanna get a green. I wanna mix a green, a little yellow. A little bit more yellow so you don't need very much at all you'll find these palettes available online as well in our tools section uh, available for you they're pretty low cost they're very very handy and the cool thing is is you can pop them in the dishwasher to clean them I'm there for that that's for sure hello Tina how are you is it lovely and cool down the southeast today it is blowing a gale here in Adelaide um, at the moment. I'm assuming it's a little gusty down the southeast east of South Australia as well, where you are. So the Lindy's Magicals are currently at 15% off as well. So you will get those online on nataliemay.com.au. All right, I'm taking my pipette and I'm now just gently activating these and just dripping in a little bit of water. Not very much, just enough to get a bit of a liquid going on. And in a moment, I'll give it a little stir. This is the teal. And I'm actually going to also just add a little bit of water to this one here because I want to make a green. Using the end of my paintbrush, I'm going to stir them, dissolve all of those little crystals, just like we do when we activate the Lindy sprays, which I was using in the uh, live Facebook earlier today. Oh, that red is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's just give that a really good stir. Now, because they are mostly primary colors, what we can do is make up a green. So that's what this little empty one here is for. I am going to just drop in some blue just on the tip of my paintbrush. And then I'm gonna use the pipette to soak up a little yellow and drop it into here. So now I've just made a sixth color from my from my Lindy's. Um, I have got 
here a couple of little birds. I'm using the Dina Wakely Nested Birds Stamp. Now this is normally $38 at 15% off, comes down to about $32-ish, give or take. Um, and I wanna color my birds in. So I've just stamped a couple here. I haven't decided which ones I wanna use. So I'm going to color these three birds and decide on what I wanna use. Um, I know that I wanna do a bluish, a blue background. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with some yellow and I'm just getting in here. See how that's super bright and super pigmented. I can tone that back just by using water okay i'm just going to pop some orange up in here now give him a little orange head taking uh taking off any excess off my brush oh i like that and i'm just going to let that sit and dry let's have another go here i'll do my whole bird this time and I'm going to pop a little red on his belly. So red's super bold. You don't need very much of it at all. So I've just dripped that on there and I'm just going to spread that around on my little birdie's belly while it's still wet. And a bit more with a bit of orange. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Same thing again. So when I do images, when I color images like this, ready to go on my art journal pages, I'm I'm pretty loose with them, meaning that I'm not worried how um, how perfect they are. That is of no importance to me because my art journal is all about creating to make me happy. Um, so I'm going to, I'm not fussed if I'm colouring in or outside the lines. Um, this little stamp set has got a nest. So I want to colour a bit of a nest and this is my green. Now I know nests aren't green, but when you mix two colours together that are opposite on the colour wheel, like green and orange, for example, you get brown. And if I'm after a brown nest, I might just add a little bit of orange to this and it's gonna muddy up a little. It's gonna go a little bit dirty. And that is what I want. I want to make it work. And I'm gonna cut this out, so that's okay. I can add a little bit of blue in there if I need to. Muddy it up a little bit more. And it's when I cut it out, it'll look a little bit dirtier and that's what I'm going for. It's got a bit of a green shade to it, but it certainly doesn't look like a nice clean green. It's quite a, a dirty green. All right, so I'm gonna pop my little birdies aside. They're quite wet. They have puddled up quite nicely. And I'm just going to let them air dry. Get my banana out the way. But apparently just came to work for the ride. Um, hear that little guy? And I'm just leaving his beak the colour of leaving it white. And my nests are going aside. And let's pop those aside as well. Okay, so this is cooled down. And what I want to do is I want to add some blue and some teal to the background of this now, okay? So instead of painting it on, I'm gonna do that lovely sprinkle and spritz that I did before. And I don't want it too bold today. So I do have a just a plain water bottle handy, fancy Adelaide water as we like to call it. And I'm gonna use a dry paintbrush to sprinkle on some color. So just a bit of dry, a dry paintbrush dipped into 
this and I'm just going to tap on my color around the page and I'm going to stick to the area where my stenciling is, where my texture page is, texture paste is, and I'm not going to go too heavy. Famous last words. And then you put the lid straight back on because it can all go very pear shaped very quickly. Now I'm going to pop a, just a small amount of this cobalt, just be kind cobalt. And I'm going to pop a little bit of that on. Not in, not everywhere, just around the middle. And now the lid goes on that. And I'm going to activate this. Now, when you activate it, please make sure that you do not lean over it and dip your white t-shirt in it or dip your boobs in it because it is a per it has got a permanency to it, which means that it will um, it will reactivate or it will go onto your clothes and be like a permanent addition, and we don't really want that. So now I'm going to spray and activate it, and I'm trying to try and keep within the stencil. And I'm going to now just add a little bit more water just to make sure that it's all activated. I'm going to get my paintbrush, just wet paintbrush, no paint on it. And I'm going to spread it down and around into a couple of little areas. I want it to run off the top. I want it to run off the side. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spray up here as well and down here. Oh, yeah, baby. Right to the edge. Spread it around. How you going, Lou? Living the dream. Living the dream. Pick. You guys are keeping Louise busy. That's what we like. Don't want to give it too much resting time. And now I'm just going to let that sit, okay? It's pulling down the side because the um, the water's running, but I'm going to start hitting it with my heat tool to dry it off. I'm going to start with drying the edges. So I've got my puppy training pad down in the background again just to catch my drips. Um, you know how much I love that. It works a treat. It really does. I am going to be adding some stamping to my background, but first and foremost, I want to try and get it as dry as I can. Now, I could have done this where I um, wet the the paper first and sprinkled it on, that would have worked fine. But I like the idea of, of activating it and playing with it this way, okay? Now the other thing I can do is I'm gonna add a few little splatters around the place as I'm drying it off. Tapping my finger on the top of the paintbrush. And the puppy training pads work really, really well, especially for uh, if you're not very good at splattering, then it catches those, you know, that overflow and you don't completely ruin your workplace, your workspace, and it doesn't go everywhere else. I did try and get my birds completely out of the way, but it does look like I've splattered on those a little. That's okay. They've just got spots in their feathers. And drying that off. Now, what I love about this is you did see me only sprinkle on two colors, the teal, Commit to it teal and just be kind cobalt. But what you can see is there's a little yellow and there's a little pink coming out because to get this shade of cobalt, they had to mix a heap of pigments to get it all together, to mix all those colors together to get this perfect shade. And that's where the yellow and the pink might come in. 
come on, dry, 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 dry. Half the trouble is, is finding the patience to watch paint dry, but that's okay. Um, now, I want to add some stamping to this. I think that some stamping is going to help tie it all together. Uh, and let's go with... I've got a few different stamps floating around here. I pulled some of these All and Create stamps off the shelf because I really liked this. This is number 567. Um, this one may go up in our pre-loved section after the class. So uh, you can pop on there and have a bit of a look. Speckled Canary, she reckon, Karen. Hmm, I like that. Drink break. All right, I'm gonna pop that on. So my little nest, I'm thinking is gonna go down here with my bird in it. So what I would like to do is I wanna add some stamping in and around here. And maybe some stamping somewhere else. Now it's always handy every now and again, let you in on a little website trick. Every now and again, check on there to have a look in the pre-loved section. I quite often have a little stash clean out. Okay, so what that means for you is that if I'm doing a demonstration like this, you may find, you know, that I, I don't need to use that product again. So I will pop it in our pre-loved section with a bit of discount. Now, because we ha we're we stamping on a rough surface, I'm just getting my hand underneath it with a bit of pressure and doing a little overlap so that I can get a really good indent around the place. Um, I know that I'm not going to get a perfect stamped image because we've got this texture paste background, okay? Um, yeah, so make sure you're, you check every now and again um, as I as I use something um, or as Louise finds a stash of something somewhere and goes, Natalie's not using that anymore, let's get rid of it. That happens a bit more than I should uh, admit. Okay, see how that's kind of going on there? Uh, da, da, da. And I think I might also use... bit of a flower going on here. I like it. So yes, I do have um, a, a copious amount of stamps and I'm trying to part with them. Not always guaranteed that I can, but that's okay. I'm only human. That's nice. Sorry, I should be verbalizing this because I'm trying to. Just pop a little down there, pop a little here, pop a little there. Let's see what other stamps I have got floating around here. Um, I do love collecting stamps that are versatile, things that I can use in a background, something I could always also use as a focal point. Um, I think that that's really important if you're buying a stamp to find something that you can use in multiple ways. That's like a little daffodil kind of situation going on there. I will bring that up to camera in a moment to show you. Um, right. I might pop some script on as well. I'm feeling the need for some words.
Hmm. I like it. Now, when you're stamping words, a couple of things, always make sure it's straight on your block and that your words are going the correct way. Now, I'm not in a I'm not wanting to worry about what these words say, although I have noted it does say things about feathers. Um, and I'm going for this off stamp sort of look. See how that's kind of there but it's super light and then I'm going to go over with one heavy one two heavy ones and I want to pop a little bit down in this bottom section as well a little on the side yeah yes yes right it needs a few black splatters before I cut out my birds. Uh, what have I got handy to make black splatters out of? Um, I've got a, oh, a Pintor paint pen here without getting up out of my chair and going finding something else. Let's get that out of the way before I spill it. Um, and what I want to do is I'm just going to take my, sorry guys, I'm just having a moment. Hello Cheryl, welcome, where have you been? You've been a busy girl. Right, I want to add some black, so I'm just going to shake up my paint pen. I have a thin paintbrush handy and I'm going to make a puddle of paint here and moving quite quickly I'm just going to drop some water into it and then I'm going to add some splatters so I just didn't have access without getting up and going and finding some black ink I figured you know what let's go with what works and this today is what works and because it's a paint pen, it's acrylic paint, which is great because it has a permanency to it. Now, while I'm fluffing around and I've got a bit on my brush, I can just do a little edge. Cheryl, where have you been, love? We've missed you. Hmm? Where have you been, Shezza? Have you had something more important to do, doll? You've missed out on all my fun mini live Facebooks. But you know what? I have uploaded them all to YouTube. So you can go back and watch any of these tutorials that I have done on YouTube. What a bonus for you guys. All right. I'm just going to pop that aside now. Uh, and I'm going to cut out my birds and my nest. Okay. Okay. Let me do that. Louise is laughing when when I say that. She thinks, woohoo. Woo I know, she gets to put up with me all day. Apparently, 14 days straight, you get to put up with me, Lou. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh, well, you can have a day off. All right, I'm just going to cut these out. These have actually dried up quite well. I'm really happy with those. And I'm going to add, I might add some little um, stamping texture to them as well because there's a big space in here that's kind of bugging me. So let's pop that down there. Let's pull this back again. There's that little stamp that I used before. My ink pad over here. And I'm just going to stamp over the top of it. Oh, that's better. Look at that. That looks heaps better. 
much, much happier with that. Right, bird's nest done. And let's have a look at our little birdies. Oh, it's got a little spot. Here's the other one. And our little head tilty bird. So, don't laugh. He did get a little splatter. He got This one got a little splatter on his tummy. This one's got no splatter. I seem to have got this one right. Uh, and I'm going to cut it out nice and loosely. So your stamps today, for today only, being Saturday the, I have to keep looking at the, cut, at the computer screen. 16th. 16th of July you can get 15% off of stamps online. You can also get 15% off of Lindy's products today as well. Do I wanna keep the feet? No, no feet. Um, we have got that on special for today. We also have on special for today collage papers and until the end of the day tomorrow, you will find some other amazing specials online as well such as heat tool for 20 bucks um dilutions large art journal for 40 dollars instead of 45 if you need to get yourself one of those we have got thin paint pens fine tipped paint pens uh, out on special we have got dyes we have got a huge amount of Art by Marlene marked down by 30%, which is ridiculous. Uh, we have got collage, I say collage papers. Uh, what else have we got on special? Oh, I just told the fundraising is nearly finished. <gasps> and our fundraising is nearly finished. Yeah. Okay, we have got, on the sidebar on the website, there's a little tab that says fundraiser. Now, what that is, is one of my lovely friends, a local Adelaide lady, had a heap of product and she has given it to me to raise money for ovarian cancer. Now, a lot of you have taken advantage of it yeah. so far. Now, if we sell it all, we will be donating if we sell it all this weekend, we will be donating over $900 to Ovarian Cancer Australia. Like seriously, yes. I feel like they need some stamping over them. So that is amazing. So add that to your cart. Fat bird, I like that bird. Let's have a look at that bird. Fat bird. So I think the fat bird. Fat comfortable bird. Winter bird, we shall call him. Uh, I think it needs a bit of stamping over it. So I'm going to see if I can just quickly grab a ink pad of a similar colour. And... I don't know what's in here. What's in my little, oh, first one I pick out, fossilized amber, nailed it. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work, so I'm not gonna try it on my good bird. I'm gonna try it on my not good bird. <laughs> <laughs> the naughty bird. It's on the naughty bird, the bird I'm not using. So, oh yeah. Oh, that would have been great if I had cleaned my stamp. Anyone would think I've never done this before. Right, let's give it a good scrubby scrub and then I will stamp in yellow. For goodness sakes. Okay, take two. Let's try the other bird. Oh, that's better. Okay, so what I'm doing is using a similar toned ink pad and I'm using an archival one because it 
is going to look better and it's not going to run and I'm going to hang on I can't concentrate and talk apparently a little bit of a little bit of stamping over the top a little bit of interest okay just because I can and then we're going to stick that together stick it down and everybody's happy <sighs> page here's my page Look at that detail. Mm -mm -mm. He's gonna sit. That's not a nest, that's the nest. Um, it's a little bland. I'm gonna let's crack out. I've still got some of this floating around. Remember the cheesecloth I talked about earlier? You know, he's a bit, you know, how you going? <laughs> he is a bit, you know. It's because he's got no friend. He's got no friend. But does he need a twig? Yeah, he needs... He, he needs, needs a twig? He needs... Um, he needs a branch? He's a bit in the air, isn't he? Yeah. He's a bit floating. He's a bit floaty? Because he's a bird. He is floating. He needs to be anchored. You're correct. Why didn't anybody else bring that up? I haven't anchored my bird. Okay. I like this. I'm going to go with that look. So I was, I was thinking, I have taken inspiration and we're going to colour a branch first. What colour would a branch be? Brown. Brown. Thanks, Lou. It's been a long day. So when you just mix all the colours together, it turns Correct. Blue. That's exactly what we're doing. We're just mixing the colours together till we get something that we like. We are improvising. Because we know that colours, when you mix them together and they're opposite on the colour wheel, make brown. Just a little bit green, but you mm -hmm. know. Are you gonna criticise this, Louise, or not? Because <laughs> yeah. now's not the time. <laughs> Just saying. Look at that, is that a better brown? That's better. Here we go. Giving it a bit more depth, just mixing the colour. And because it's blending, uh, it's on the watercolour paper, it's just lightly come out with a bit of that, a bit of that. Oh, nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, there we go. Now I'm going to cut a branch. Drawing inspiration from images that you see around the place. There we go. He needs a branch, brownish branch. Actually, it's a very similar colour to my... I haven't, it's not too far off. Come on. Right. Let's freehand cut. How are we going for time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pop that aside. And I'm just doing a bit of a spiky sort of branch going on here. That it's just going to sit on top of. And I'm going to more like a witch's broomstick. But that's okay. Black pen. And draw some lines so it looks like it's stamped. Now, if you do have a branch stamp, naturally that would have been something that you could do. I decided to go for a this, more organic, a look. more organic look, and we are winging it, my friends. Right, pretty sure it needs some stamping on it too. Of course it does. 
actually, can I have some black stamping on it? Um, so something I quite often like to do when I'm doing these live Facebooks, sometimes I don't just pull it out of thin air. It's nice to get some inspiration from the interwebs. You can, um, you can create simple, build on simple and, and effective techniques of projects that you've done before or, oh, I like that, or, or perhaps uh, something that you, a technique that you've seen and gone, oh, I wonder what would happen if I gave that a go. And that is how you create. All right, so that needs to go something there like that. My little branch can go in here. So let's just commit to sticking that down. Saturday afternoon with Natalie. Thank you for hanging out with me, guys. Let's just make this. I'm going to leave that piece of cheesecloth there because I quite like it. But what I am also going to do... Where's my stapler? Just one-handedly trying to pull my stapler. Here we go. So don't tell me I've run out of staples now. Nope, there we go. And I'm just going to secure my cheesecloth. Pop my little birdie on a branch with some glue because that's the quick and easy way. So done. Done. Stick. Stick, stick, stick. Marina's just commented, thank you for sharing your ideas. Oh, honey, thank you. These are not always my ideas remember that they're just things that we have done things that we have created and then turned them into or something that we've seen and turned it into our own but most importantly I hope that we are making it I've made it look like it's achievable to you and that is what needs to to happen it's a bit of a process putting these projects together oh I've run out of staples um but it's not always It's not always difficult. It doesn't have to be difficult. Okay. I'm going to pop him down in there. I feel like he needs. Oh, you know what would be good? Just chat amongst yourselves. I've had a quick idea. I don't know that this is going to work. I do have an old pack of acetate Tim Holt wings. Let's have a go. Um, and I think this is actually the discontinued pack. This is the ugly pack. The pack, oh, that's cool. The pack that I... Uh, that we have available online at the moment is the full colour pack, which would actually be much, 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 much nicer. Um, but I'm going to stick these down anyway, so please don't go looking for these because they're not available. I know he doesn't need bug wings, but, you know, maybe he does. I just didn't need to open yet another set of wings. Oh, that's so cute. Totally unnecessary. But super cute. Um, I've got a bit of a paint pen going on here. And we are done. So just to fill you in, for those of you just tuning in for the first time, um, welcome, welcome. And we, we have created a simple art journal page in 45 minutes and playing with Lindy's Magicals. These are my brand new 
words of wisdom set. And where's the bottle? Lost it. The words of wisdom set um, by Natalie May. And these are the Magicals, which are a pigment dye-based powder. And we have got Trust the Process Red. It is what it is, yellow. Commit to it, teal. Just be kind, cobalt. Don't overthink it, orange. Um, and these are designed by me. I, I worked alongside Lindy's to come up with these colours, these colours which are exactly what I needed to have in my life. And I'm going to get in and staple those down in a minute. Um, I'm just waiting for that glue to catch. It doesn't want to catch. Uh, so we I absolutely love this set of, of Magicals. We have used a, a heavyweight paper for our background. We added some stenciling in here. I will bring that up to camera in just a moment. Um, we added some stenciling in the background with some modelling paste that looks like this. Uh, and it has dried beautifully. We then did the sprinkle and spritz technique over the top of our modeling paste and activated it, added some splatters, there's some stamping in the background, and then we have colored our bird image and our butterfly bird, as Karen called it, perfectly. Um, I think that's kind of cool. We also have a little bit of cheesecloth in here, and what I will do in a moment is I'll take a photograph of this project and link all the products that I have used onto our website so you'll be able to find them easily enough. Um, so thank you very much to everybody for tuning in. Please jump online to nataliemay.com.au and take advantage of today's specials, which is 15% off Lindy's, 15% off stamps, and 15% off collage papers. And join me this afternoon. I will be back in one hour to do the last live Facebook demo for the day. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you all then. Thanks, guys.